What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Edward Lee. I'm a filmmaker and photographer. And in this video, I wanna show you guys how I wire tucked my desk setup. I don't know about you guys, but I watch this kind of stuff on YouTube all the time, like wire tucking and how to make things look clean and minimal. So if you're into this kind of stuff, hopefully you enjoy this video. I'll be going over my process on how I did it and also all the things that I bought in order to pull this off. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. So I actually watched a bunch of videos on YouTube and got some inspiration um, before I made my purchases on Amazon. But basically the first thing that I got was this server rack cable management thing. I also bought a surge protector. Uh, it's like an outlet with like 12 outlets and USB ports. I bought some plastic cable ties, some rubberized like cable management clips that I can put on the sides of my desk. Uh, I also bought some Velcro reusable cable tie to tie up any loose ends towards the back, which you guys will just see in a second. I also bought some double-sided sticky tape in order to put the surge protector and outlet on the bottom of my desk. Next, I got some Rust-Oleum black spray paint in the satin finish. And last but not least, I bought some wood screws so that I can actually mount the cable management uh, rack thing on the bottom of my desk. The only tool I actually use for this install is just a power drill. But other than that, uh, let me show you the step-by-step -step process that I went through. So this cable raceway thing that I bought on Amazon actually comes like really long, like six feet long. Thankfully, my desk is also really big. It's 72 inches and I think this cable raceway is like 67 inches. So it was a perfect fit. But if your desk is shorter than mine and this raceway is way too long for it, I recommend getting like a multi-purpose saw. I mean, you could probably use a knife, but I wouldn't recommend it, but cutting the raceway to fit your desk. Uh, that way you can use the same one that I did in order to pull this neat wire tuck off. Next, on the same note of this cable rack thing that I got, it came gray and um, I didn't really want to put it on the back of my desk because my desk is walnut wood top with black hardware and black accents. And so I feel like you kind of would take away from the looks of the desk. So I decided to actually paint this cable raceway thing um, black, which is why I got the black spray paint. And so that probably took up a good, you know, a couple hours in the front end, but totally worth it. It looks so much better painted black, as you guys can see in these clips. And so if you're like me and you care about those small details, I highly recommend painting it black. So I definitely didn't let the paint dry as long as I probably should have. Um, I'm really impatient with this kind of stuff. So I ended up just, you know, waiting like two hours and then just trying to put it back on the desk. I definitely scuffed it up a little bit because the spray paint was still soft. But for me, like, I mean, it's going to the back of the desk. You're barely going to be able to see it. So I didn't really care and I wanted to get it done. I didn't want to spend more than like a day on this project. But if you really want to do it the right way, probably good idea to let the paint dry for like 24 hours and then start fidgeting with it for the cable management. But after I got that painted and let it dry, I brought it inside and I bolted it onto the bottom of the desk using the power drill and those wood screws that I was mentioning earlier. There's a lot of slots to put screws, um, but I don't think you need that many. I think I put like four or five screws and that was pretty sturdy and it can hold a lot of weight. So I wouldn't worry about trying to put wood screws across the whole raceway because I wasn't trying to put a bunch of holes in the bottom of my desk. So after you bolt the bottom piece of this raceway onto your desk, what you're going to want to do is um, take this surge protector or this power strip that you bought. And what I did was I took the 3M double sided sticky tape and I put it on just like not too many pieces, just two pieces on the bottom of it. And I actually stuck it onto the bottom of my desk. The trick here is you want to put it in a spot if you have any like drawers or anything bolted onto your desk as well put it somewhere it's kind of hidden so i kind of already knew the layout of my room so i decided to put this power strip on the left side because there's a drawer that it can hide behind um, and that way when the cable falls down it's it's pretty like discreet and it's minimal and it, you won't be able to see it um, so that's why i decided to put it on the left side because basically the whole idea of why you want to put a you know, power strip or surge protector on the bottom of your desk is so that all the things on top of your desk that require power, it doesn't have to fall down and plug into the walls and stuff. You can just plug everything into the surge protector. So technically, if you have a standing desk like mine, the only thing that needs to be plugged into the wall will just be the surge protector because even the desk motors and just like the electronics can be plugged also into the power strip. And so literally, no cables will be hanging down. The only cable that has to go into the wall is the 
power strip. So if you have things like hard drives or speakers or anything that requires like an AC adapter block, I think is what you call it, but they're just like big blocks that um, technically don't really fit into the raceways that you traditionally might see in other wire tucking videos. And a lot of other YouTube videos, they'll you know take those little blocks and put 3M sided, double sided sticky tape and then bolt it onto another part of the desk. But I kind of wanted to have it all in this little track system. So I made sure to buy this one that has a two by two kind of dimension so I can still fit the little black block you know, into this raceway as well. So after that, I determined all the entry and exit points of the wires and basically like wherever it's going in, I tucked all the slack away and then wherever it's going out, which is probably by the outlet, I just stuck it out that way. So pretty much all you see is just the wire that goes in and the wire that goes out and all that extra is tucked away into the cable management system. So after you have it all mapped out, you're gonna wanna tuck all the wires into this track system and this, in this shelf rack, whatever you wanna call it. Um, once again, this is something you want to do with another person. It might make it a lot easier because you could have one person kind of support the wires in there if they're going to want to fall out. And then you're going to want to slide on the cover that comes with this raceway as well to kind of neatly compact everything into this bar at the back of your desk. So at this point of the process, your desk setup should look pretty clean and all the wires should be pretty much tucked away. But if you want to go the extra mile um, like I did and kind of get it like really minimal and get it tucked away as much as possible. There's still a couple straggler wires that are not bunched together or still kind of hanging down. So what I did was I took these kind of Velcro cable ties and you know, in the back of my Mac, uh, I would kind of tie the cables and bunch them all together. So it's like one clean line coming down in the back. And because mine is a sit stand desk, there's other cables that, you know, even though I did tuck it away into the raceway, just the location of like the controller and the motor box, there was still like this extra slack hanging down from the bottom of the desk. And so what I did was I took these kind of cable plastic ties. They're like zip ties, except they're adjustable and you don't have to commit to it or cut it. You can actually just adjust the zip tie. And what's great about them is they have um, double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of them. So you can you know, bunch up the cables that you need to and then just stick it to the bottom of your desk. Lastly, I got these little rubber cable clamps holder things that on Amazon. Um, it's I basically want to have a phone charger, but I just really don't like the look of like having a cable, like a phone charger just chilling on your desk. I know it's like really crazy, but I love having just a really, really clean desk with nothing on it and wireless everything. I'm not sure if that's relatable, but in order to pull this off, I stuck one of these in the back of the desk and basically my phone charger it will hang below and it will get caught by this little clip. And so if I need to use my phone charger, all I need to do is just reach back to the, my desk and it's hidden, but I can pull the wire out and then start charging my phone. And you can use this for like any other parts of your desk, like charger for like your headphones or charger for your mouse or any of the accessories that are on your desk. And that pretty much wraps it up. And the finished product is hopefully gonna look something like this. I'm pretty proud of it, not gonna lie. It just looks so clean, so much better than what I was dealing with before. And although when you see all your cables below your desk, it can be kind of overwhelming at first, but I promise if you just order the stuff and you take like a day and a half to just get this done, the future version of yourself will really thank you because when you wake up in the morning or whenever you go to your desk setup and you see that it's just so clean with no wires, you're gonna feel inspired, you're gonna feel proud. So hopefully you can do that for your desk setup because who doesn't want a clean desk setup, right? If you found this video helpful, if you like this kind of stuff, let me know down in the comment section below. And definitely, if you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be coming out with so many more videos over the next uh, remainder of the year and next year, and I'm hoping to really take this YouTube thing more seriously. So definitely um, let me know what your thoughts are and connect with me on Instagram if you haven't. I post a lot of content there at Edward Lee Films. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.